here again uh, as we continue our studies in the book of Hebrews and uh, we thank God for the opportunity to come around again today is our prayers that today the Lord will bless us uh, quickly let's go ahead and pray our Father and our God we thank you again for the grace for the strength and uh, that you have given to us in your word thank you we bless your holy name for the understanding that you have sent to us and um, how you have been opening our eyes to see the depth of your word thank you again today we are praying oh god that say you will move us further and uh, wider higher deeper uh, in your word in the name of jesus give us understanding let your name alone be glorified in the name of jesus we give you all the glory uh, we pray for all our listeners from wherever oh god please send your word by power by your power by your grace in the name of jesus christ thank you father in jesus name we pray amen um we want to quickly go ahead and read our text today you will remember that we are already in the 11th chapter of the book of hebrews um we are able to introduce ourselves to the chapter in our last studies and we couldn't go f further than verse 2 and we began to emphasize the power of faith how faith propelled the uh, our forefathers to do everything that they did and that it was the singular thing in their lives that made them to receive the good report from God that God did not commend their lives just because they were good just because they offer sacrifices but because they offered all those sacrifices you know through faith we said that it was the life of faith that actually made God to pass a positive comment about their lives that God will not approve of whatever we do if he doesn't see faith in our lives and we prayed there that God, uh, God's approval should be our, uh, our quest, you know, or our desire in everything we do. And we can only receive that through faith in Christ. Faith in Christ is what matters in everything um, that we do. And so we stopped it that today we are going to also as we see God helping us we will also limit ourselves to just two verses uh, today we will begin to look at few examples as cited by the writer here just to let the, his audience see <clears throat> that he wasn't just uh, telling them what is abstract that the life of faith is not just an abstract life of course just like we have seen the definition that it is a substance faith is a substantial life he said it is the substance of what we do not see 
evidence substance and evidence you see so that means it is not just something that is uh, invisible it can be seen it can be practiced it is a practical thing that we emphasize if you remember that faith uh, that Christianity is a practical living it is not uh, an abstract living it's not just what we practice within yes we also we leave it we leave it out for the world for the people around us you know to see so uh it's not so so that's why he began in verse you know uh in uh, in one of the verses that we are going to emphasize today uh to begin to show the examples of people because he said by faith the elders obtain a good report so he began to mention those elders uh, we will just pick on one of those elders today and then um, we will pray those people that God approved those people that received the approval of God as, as a result of faith what did they do and if we can see one of those two things that they did today and we can pray there you know as God will help us we trust God that God himself will just lead us straight to all those areas in this verse uh, in this uh, rather chapter of, of Hebrew that we are looking at um, in the name of Jesus Christ so uh, we want for us to read Hebrews chapter 11 Hebrews 11 I will read 3 and 4 it says by faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was seen by faith Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did by faith he was commended as righteous when God spoke well of his offerings by faith Abel still speaks even though he is dead by faith Abel still speaks even though he is dead that's the word of God uh, this evening we we just uh, emphasize few things for us today as God will help us then we shall pray there quickly now we have actually said that it is through the life of faith you know that elders obtained a good report and here we can see that faith is actually the foundation you know is what makes us to believe that when God speaks it will happen and you see the verse 3 as we begin to see it says faith by faith now I want us to take note of those two words by faith you see the same in verse 4 by faith and we are going to see more of it in the rest of the uh, chapters to let you know that these people didn't do anything outside of faith that that is just the foundation of their lives it was the foundation it was what propelled them to do whatever they did for the Lord you will also remember that we emphasize that these people did not receive good report from the Lord God didn't commend them for what they did but what pushed them what propelled them 
know what moved them to do what helped them the kind of life the kind of foundation that they that you know had that they had that made them so god commended them for what moved them what made them to do what they did you see not because not at not that work because anybody can do that but it may not be as a result of what of faith so the first thing there is that god looks at the motive of whatever we do no matter how good no matter how pleasant no matter how commendable in the sight of men you see no matter how acceptable in the sight of men god is not first and foremost interested in what we do is interested in the motive of our doing it and so and that's very very important that's very uh, instructive to us today that see god does the commendation of god doesn't just come sheep god want to find out what is the foundation of whatever we do you know to him so he say by faith we understand the first thing that faith produces you know in the life of all believers is was understanding it is faith that produce understanding of what is not actually sin something that you nobody can explain but faith in our lives faith in Christ is what actually explain it that made us to understand that made us to have the revelation of what is not sin of what was done when we were not there and it was faith that made us to actually understand it make us to believe that actually this thing is correct nobody has seen god before but you see it is faith that made us to do what to believe you see faith made that is by faith we understand that the universe was formed at god's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible it was faith that made us to you know to be able to believe this to stand on the fact that look god created this universe that out of invisible it didn't out of nothing it was faith that gave us that gives us that understanding that understanding of what nobody can explain faith in jesus you know create that kind of understanding you know in the life of a believer so now he began to make some uh illustration the the example of people that have actually found approval in God's sight and the first person is Abel so we shall actually look at Abel mention few things about him today and we will go and pray now we say by faith remember by what faith Abel brought God a better offering than Cain now look at the word that we have been talking about that Jesus is the guarantor the surety of a better covenant better covenant now look at what assisted Abel all of us will have actually gone through the story of Abel before how God actually received his offering how God made him you know how he presented an offering before the Lord and God received his own offering there we are seeing here as the Hebrew writer open our eyes to 
actually understand the reason, the major reason. It's not that because God preferred a king, or I'm sorry, Abel to Cain, just like that. Mm -mm. There was something that God was looking, was looking for in the lives of the two. But if only found it in the life of one man, which was what? Who? Abel. So it's not that he, God hated the other person. And because of that, God uh, rejected his offering. No. So, but there's something that God was looking for in the life of every one, every giver. And that's what we are look we are seeing plainly here. The Bible says by faith Abel brought God a better offering. <laughs> so that means there are offerings, but there are better offerings. There are offerings, but God sees some as better than others. Say so this one is better. These two did have actually presented offerings, were well, good offerings, but I prefer this one to this one because of this. And what is it? Faith. This one is offering his own out of faith in us, but this one offers his own because he must offer out of work out of necessity mm. now you see and god said by faith he was able to bring an offering that is better now the first thing that we should note as we are emphasizing here is that look god is not first and foremost interested in our offering it's not first and foremost after what we can offer is first and foremost interested in our lives in our art what is our motive of doing whatever we are doing who are we the interest of god is first and foremost on the offering giver on the person the personality of the pe of who is giving who is offering any offering the personality who is the person what kind of faith does he have faith in god does he have faith in the lord jesus what is moving him you see faith he has in jesus the belief the trust that he has in jesus or is he doing that whatever is doing out of what necessity it must be done we just need to do it oh if we don't do it this is what is going to happen people will talk men will talk men will be angry men will not approve of us men will not uh, commend us you know they will say we are this we are not ready we are not cooperating if we don't do it look out of what sentiment but you see god will not receive an offering of a sentiment or out of sentiment out of what sentiment it is human beings that that do uh, things out of what sentiment and that's why people of God we don't serve God by sentiment because God will not receive us will not approve of us by what by sentiment mm -mm. he's looking for something faith he's looking he's looking inward that look I'm not just going to accept you because I love your face mm -mm. there is something that is in I'm looking for faith in Jesus if I find that I found out that you have that in you, you are you will be accepted. Whatever you you bring, and that is saying that the offering of life, the offering of life, 
is what God is actually looking for. Faith in Jesus is what produces that offering of life. And when God sees that, He says, yeah, this is better. Because this one is doing it out of what? Out of an offering of life. He's, he has first and foremost offered himself. Abel brought God a better offering than Cain. That's very important for us to note. Better offering. So whatever you and I are doing today, it must be out of what? Out of faith in Jesus. Foundation in Christ. Foundation in his knowledge. It's not just to, to do it to woo God. Don't offer anything to who God first. Mm -mm. Offer yourself. The only offering that attract God to our lives is the offering of ourselves that is done by what? By faith. The offering of ourselves that is done by faith. Not offering of things. Not even offering of service. Because the Bible says our body, giving ourselves, is the reasonable service. He said, is the acceptable worship. He said, when we give ourselves to Him, He said, that's the kind of service that God wants. He said, Besee I beseech you, therefore, brethren, Romans 12, verse 1. He said, by the mercy of God to present your body as a living look at that that's offering of faith a living sacrifice it's a holy and acceptable to go say well, this this particular one singular this is your reasonable service this is your acceptable worship now you can see that that god the what is actually interested in is what not your not your service not your uh your works first but you you as a person and then the i said this is what god saw in the life of abel said this one has offered himself then what is offering is better we can see an offering of life here that means an offering of life is better than what an offering of works of course, works are good. We can do a lot of things. But look, one is better. God prefer offering of life, offering of yourself, to offering of your service. If you offer services, activities, you jump up and down out of sentiment to please people. Hey, I must do this. I must do that. I must do that. Men will talk. If I don't do it, if I, it's very, no problem. You will win their approval. You please them. Because you are doing it out of what? Sentiment. Please, people of God, whatever we do out of sentiment today is offered to men. But if we want to offer offering that God will accept today, it should be done by what? By faith in Jesus. By faith in who? In Jesus. Because that is the only offering that God, that is better. That the Bible refers to as a better what? Offering. That we can offer to God, that God can see and see this one is better. All his colleagues are offering, offering <laughs> to me out of sentiment. Because they love the face of people. They want to please men. They want to win men applause no problem but this one is better because he want to just please the lord he has offered his life i'm praying that the lord will give us this grace in the name of jesus christ faith before offering and that is what god is looking for in the life of everyone faith in jesus do you have faith in him what is your motive of doing whatever you do from today? 
check that. That was the first thing that made Abel to enter into this record. The record of the heroes of faith. We are going to see it now. Now look at that. Now you say by faith he was commended. Look at that word. As righteous. Mm. When God spoke well of his offering. God spoke well of his offerings. Uh -uh. Just because it was done out of what? A life of faith. Not because the offering was fat. Some people say the offering was fatter than well, I don't see that as we are seeing the word of God now. You know, God, has, God accepting your offering is not the size. God doesn't accept our offering because of the size. It's not about the size of our offerings, but about what? Our faith. About how we can offer our lives about the size of the offering of life it's not about how fat how big how small how whatever that we give to god but look if it is not done out of faith the bible says by faith was commended he was commended as righteous god declared him as a righteous person not because of what he give not because of what he did, no, but by faith. Uh -uh. Now, you see, the, 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 the realistic of men today is different from that of God. The standard of God, that, you see, the standard God, that God uses for commending people today is very far, far different. From what men use today. Say by faith he was commended as righteous. When God spoke well of his offerings. God will not speak of your offering because he's, he's big. Or because he's small. Because he's fat. Because you know he, he, he shouts. For everybody say yeah. This you no. Know, the commendation of God is done. When he sees an offering that is done by what? By faith. By faith in Jesus. By faith in God. With good motive. That's what make that was how Abel received the commendation of God. Mm. God doesn't commend a man that doesn't have faith. A man that doesn't believe in him. No matter what he gives. The commendation of God comes. To a life of faith now and the bible say and by faith abel still speaks even though he is dead i love this very very much and i want us to we're going to pray there by the special grace of god the point that i want to note again about the life of faith about what we saw abel did was that you see the the, the faith that god saw in him was a very great one that made God to say this offering is better than this one and look at it say by faith Abel still speaks to today uh -uh, even though he is dead that means faith outlive a man see the life of faith whatever we do to God today out of faith in Jesus, out of this trust, out of this confidence that what we are doing, though we can see it, but it's real, that following Jesus Christ, this experience that we, you know, we follow him out of faith, we can't see, but we are sure that, oh, our hand is going to be all right. Our future is going to be great. We can't, we can't hear, we don't yet see the future physically, but we have seen it through the eye of, eyes of faith. He said, by faith. Faith is the substance or the evidence. So we have this evidence in our lives, in our and we keep moving forward. That means our, our lives, this faith we speak even after we might have gone. 
He said, by faith, Abel still speaks, even though his word is dead. Of course, Abel has, has done for several centuries, but look at that. He speaks today. We still read about him. We study about him. We talk about him as one of the heroes of faith. Faith speaks for a man, even after his word is dead. Now, whatever you want to outlive you, you don't do it out of sentiment. Any work, any help, any assistance, any, you know, that any solution, whatever you want to render as a child of God and you want it to outlive you, you want it to speak even after you might have gone, you can't do it out of a life of sentiment. You can't do it just to please me. You do it out of what? Out of faith. Out of the life of faith. It is faith that makes that make that makes our work to speak, even though we are gone. Brothers and sisters, do you want what you are doing to outlive you? Because after you might have gone, you want men to speak well of you. We are reading about these people. They became heroes. Abel became an hero because he lived the life of what? Of faith. God looked at his life and he saw something there and said, Ah, uh-uh. ah. No. This life is better. He offered an offering of life. And because of that, he, he, do, he, he, he speaks even though he's no more with us. My prayer is that the Almighty God will actually release this kind of faith in our hearts today. Faith that that is greater than sentiment. Faith that you know destroys all sentiments in our lives. That doesn't allow us as believers to live our lives out of what sentiment just to please men to please men and you are offering whatever you are offering just to please men no that's not faith by that we cannot receive the commendation of god by that god cannot refer to our offering as a better one he can refer to it because it is full of what sentiment whatever we do to god outside faith in Jesus outside that foundation of trust in God it is done out of, out of what sentiment and God doesn't reward sentiment just like we have seen in the word of God today sentimental works anything done out of sentiment is not permanent it cannot outlive you it's going to die with you it will die with the person who has done it because it was not done out of faith. That's why you see some people, they will do some things and so on and so forth. The moment they die, their works died with them. We have seen here that Abel work, the work of Abel did not die with him because it was done out of faith. Mm. Mm. See, I'm praying specifically for us and our listeners that look, what you are doing today for the Lord will not die with you. Don't let it die with you. It must outlive you. You must be able to live a wonderful legacy that when people read about you tomorrow, they'll be able to say, Guy, this guy is a great man. This man passed through this world and we cannot forget him. My prayer for you this evening is that may your work not die with you. May your work, may your good works that you are rendering for the Lord today let it outlive you. May you enter, may you make the list of the heroes of faith for this generation. That people will be able to say, Ah, it's no more here, but it's alive. His work is speaking. His work is speaking. Do whatever you are doing out of faith. Out of faith and the belief in Jesus. Don't do it to please men. Don't do it to win the approval of men, but do it to win God's approval. Those are the works that stand. Those are the work that speaks even though the owner has gone. Even though the one that has done the work has gone, 
but those work speaks it speaks it speaks their names can never go into extinction because they have lived the life of faith your prayer may your work not die with you when you go let your work let whatever you have done continue to speak as you embrace this kind of life of faith in Jesus as we throw away every sentiment and embrace you know good motive in service in everything that we are doing may the Almighty God help us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you have been serving the Lord go ahead and do it let it be done out of faith out of a life that oh I'm offering out of a, a life that I've been offered to God offer your life to God first and the Almighty God will receive you and receive all your offering and services and at the end of the day you will meet the list in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ um we just need to uh, to stop here today but adventure somebody has been listening today and been saying that uh -uh, what are they talking about we are talking about the life of faith in Jesus and that is the only thing that can make God to approve and to commend your life and to receive you God will not receive whatever you give if you have not given your life first to him give your life to him today and then you can offer whatever you want to offer then that is what will make your life your future and you know a great, great one that will make it even when you have done that will make God that will make your name not to go into extinction that will make your work to speak even after you might have gone accept Jesus Christ today and it shall be well with you so people of God we trust God that the Lord will help us in our next studies we we'll consider some other people who have made the list of heroes uh, the Lord be with you in the name of Jesus Christ let's pray together father we thank you Lord for the little we're able to do today and the emphasis is just that you don't approve a man that does anything out of sentiment you approve a man that has offered himself that offer offering out of faith in you and those are the people that their works, whatever they do, outlive them. That their work doesn't die with them. That whatever they have done will not die into the go into the grave with them. That men will continue to speak of it. The work continue to speak on their behalf to generation to come. That's what we are. Father, we are praying, oh God. We cultivate, we also oh God. Uh, we, 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 we want this kind of life, oh God. We covet it in our lives, Father. Please, please help us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to offer ourselves to you first and foremost. In the because that is the better sacrifice, better offering. It's better than any offering that a man can give. Father, help us in this regards in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your faith, let your spirit, O God Almighty, let it rest on our souls today. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Again, in the next study, I hope to see you. You are blessed.